This video will provide an overview of the Moodle lesson activity. We will discuss the benefits of utilizing lessons to engage students, share some examples, and walk through the steps of planning and creating a lesson activity in Moodle. The lesson activity in Moodle allows instructors to build various types of learning paths to assess students' understanding of key concepts. A lesson progresses through a series of connected pages that contain a combination of written content, questions, or prompts. These pages can include text, images, audio, and video components that help to build the learning path. A lesson can be created using your existing course content, including lecture materials, assessment questions, scenarios, and case studies. Lessons can be used to introduce or provide a review of a new topic, facilitate role play, encourage self-directed learning, extend knowledge acquired through readings, and to gamify learning. So why use lessons? A benefit to using lessons is that they enable instructors to create differentiated learning paths for students by strategically sequencing learning activities. These paths are created through a series of pages that may introduce or review a new topic, ask a question, or present a scenario. To create a lesson that introduces or helps to review a new topic, content is presented in meaningful smaller chunks on separate pages through which students progress at their own pace, reviewing what they are not sure of and moving forward when they are comfortable with the material. When introducing a new topic or concept, you may consider presenting the information in various forms such as text, audio, video, or images, which are all supported in the lesson activity. Lessons also make it easier for instructors to remediate learning for their students by creating a low-stakes checkpoint for assessment. For example, if a student does not answer a question correctly within a lesson, you can allow them to receive immediate text or video-based instruction on that particular concept or topic. After working through the review, the student returns back to the question to try again. By building in remediation in the design of the lesson activity, the instructor is able to meet the needs of each student immediately in order to get them back on track and master the content for that particular topic or module. Lessons can also be used to present students with a scenario in which they are prompted to make decisions. As they proceed through the lesson, students are routed to a particular outcome based on the decisions they make. Examples of scenarios could include students working through an IT security issue and deciding on the process they should use to solve the issue with the least amount of risk, students that are given a case in which they must decide on the correct treatment for a patient by answering a variety of questions, or students role-playing how to have a difficult conversation with an employee or client. Now let's look at two distinct types of lessons. There are two types of lessons that can be developed linear and branched. In a linear lesson, students proceed through a series of questions or content pages and depending on their responses, they are rerouted back to review related content if they do not answer correctly. A branch lesson, on the other hand, works a lot like a choose your own adventure activity and can send students down different paths depending on the choices they make. This type of lesson can be used to promote critical thinking and problem solving skills. Students can be presented with case studies, scenarios, or situations in which they make decisions as they progress. Next, let's look at some examples of these types of lessons from real courses. As we mentioned earlier, a lesson can be a very useful tool in helping a student review material that he or she has just learned. In this simple linear lesson, students are given the opportunity to review content from the module or lecture and then must answer a question based on the material. If they get the question incorrect, they must go back and review again. If they get it right on the first try, they move forward. With this simple linear path guiding them through a review of the major topics, students receive immediate feedback to know if they have mastered the objectives for the lesson. The more complex branch lessons can be used to encourage students to make choices in their own learning or immerse students in role play. For example, students are guided through three major nuclear events discussed in the course. In order to navigate these scenarios, students must understand the functioning of the different types of nuclear reactors at each site. The lesson gives students choices to make in the process of containment after an emergency has been triggered at each site. Students can take branches that follow the historical decisions that were actually made during these emergencies, and they can also try to avoid these emergencies and save the day. 
The premise of this lesson is that it allows them to learn the importance of using critical thinking while making choices and how each content can have consequences either good or bad. Lessons require more advanced planning than many of the other tools in Moodle, since adding various paths for navigation can increase the complexity of the activity. If set up incorrectly, a student may get stuck inside of a lesson with no way to navigate out of the activity. Therefore, it is critical that you plan before you begin to build your lesson in Moodle by using something like a hand-drawn flowchart or other planning document to design or map out your lesson. Once you've mapped out how you want the lesson activity to flow, you can actually use it as a map to build the activity out in Moodle. Consider the following questions when planning your lesson. What course outcomes and module learning objectives do you want to address in this activity? What type of experience do you want the students to have during the lesson? Will it be graded or ungraded? And will students be able to go back and revisit the lesson once completed? After you address these questions, begin working through the design of the lesson and ask yourself a few more. What will be on each of the pages? Content? Questions? Scenarios? What options will be presented to the student after reviewing each page? And where will these options route the student? Now let's take a look at how to build out your lesson activity in Moodle. Once you have mapped out your lesson, you can then build or create it in Moodle. When in your course, click on Create Learning Activity link and choose Lesson from the menu. Enter a title for the lesson and a description, and then click Save and Display. To add content to the lesson, click on one of the links under What Would You Like to Do First? The Import Questions link will allow you to add an external file to the lesson. When you click on it, a drop-down menu will appear where you can select the format of the import. The Add a Cluster link button will add a group of question pages that are shown to the students randomly as they work through the lesson. The Add a Content page link can be used to present content to the student. This type of page does not include questions or prompts for the student to respond to. The Add a Question page allows for a variety of different types of questions to be added to the lesson. After adding the first page to the lesson, the next screen will display what you just added. To add additional content, use the Actions drop-down menu on the right side of the page you created. This new page will be added directly below. Keep in mind that when adding any type of content to the lesson, you can specify where you want the lesson to go, click the Settings icon, and edit the Jump setting using the Jump drop-down menu. It is suggested that you add all of your pages first and then go back to add the navigation. To end a branch of the lesson, use the Actions drop-down menu and select those actions. To end a lesson, click the Settings icon and edit the Jump setting for the last page to End of Lesson. It is suggested to start small when developing a lesson. As you learn the ins and outs of creating lessons, you can add complex branching and come up with innovative ways of using them. You will find that the more lessons you design, the easier it becomes. This concludes the Creating Effective Lessons video. For more information on the technologies covered in this video, visit grok.lsu.edu. If you have any Moodle or technology related questions or would like assistance, please contact the Faculty Technology Center at 225-578-3375, option 2, or email ftc at lsu.edu.